Hi, this is Trey Paz. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning uh, November 29th, uh, 2020. And it's my digital code giveaway number 111, I believe. Okay, so I have the three movies and I'm going to give away. I bought two movies and I got one movie from my collection. Uh, okay, so um, the first movie I got is uh, a DC animated movie. Excuse me. And this is uh, Batman Death in the Family. This is the interactive movie with, that has the alternate, and, and, you know, has alternate, you know, you know, gives you the, what happens if, you know, Robin dies or what if Robin lives, you know, so you get to, you know, it's based on the, you know, the, the novel with, you know, where he gets beaten to death, Jason Todd gets beaten to death by the Joker, and, you know, eventually gets put into the, uh, what you call it, the, gee, I forgot what they call it, the Lazarus Pit, <laughs> and, you know, becomes the Red Hood, okay, so I definitely want to see this, just to see, you know, the other thing, and this also has, uh, uh, Batman Under the Red Hood, exactly that too, which is you know the movie where he comes back and and you know you know it's Batman, Batman and stuff, which is good and it has a bunch of shorts on this too, DC animated shorts. I think it's like four different ones on it. Yeah, Sergeant Rock, Adam Strange, Phantom Stranger, and Death. So that's cool. So anyway, this has digital call. I'll be giving that away. And the next movie I bought is a movie that came out, believe it or not, 35 years ago, which is <laughs> pretty a pretty long time ago, and that's. Uh, a movie by Joe Dante, produced by Steven Spielberg, and, okay, I'm talking about Gremlins. Okay, this is on sale for, like, $9.99. That's, I think, a real good price for a good horror slash comedy. Okay, and it's about the, I think they call it Mogwai. I think that's what they call it. Uh, where, they, you know, we tell them you're not supposed to feed them after midnight. And of course, do you do? Then they, he multiplies, and it becomes evil, like, Gremlins, and they terrorize this town. And Phoebe Cates is in this, and I think Zach Gilligan, he's the, he's the guy in this, and... <laughs> It's a really good horror slash comedy. Okay, and again, 9 dollars is a great price, so that's why I bought that. Okay, and the last movie I got is a sequel to My Despicable, My Despicable Me. I think this is a, uh, I think this is the second, this has come out after, I think this might have came out after the second movie, I'm not sure, I don't remember this, if it came out after the second movie. Uh, anyway, it's called Minions, it's about, of course, the Minions, uh, his evil assistants and stuff. <laughs> And Sandra Bullock is in this, or she does. A, she plays a character in this with the evil voice and stuff. And uh, I saw this uh, on cable, I think, or on on that pay per view, uh, on demand or something, years ago when it, after it came out. And I, I kind of en enjoyed it. So anyway, this has a digital code, and I think it should be good, still good, okay for that. So I'm giving that away as well. So that so minions, gremlins. And Batman Death in the Family. Now, I was originally going to try to get uh, the New Mutants, but the price of it was like twenty four ninety nine. dollars I was, I don't know, I just didn't feel like paying, uh, you know, a tax probably like 27 bucks for that. I just, for some reason, I just didn't, you know, I want to see it and I want to get it, but that, that, that price seemed too high to me. So I'll try to see if I can wait till that price goes down or something, or maybe if I get some extra money or something, then I just didn't feel right paying $27. For that movie, but anyway, and I also went. Like I said I went downtown because I had to pick something up that I ordered uh, from Best Buy, and they only had it in Midtown. They didn't have it at my local Best Buy here, so I ordered it, and they had. Luckily, they had what I ordered downtown, so I, I went downtown today to get it. And the Best Buy that I go to in Mid, the one in Midtown is near my job, okay, and like a block away from my job, and up the block from it. Uh, from the Best Buy is Barnes and Noble, and I'm a, you know, I was a member of Barnes and Noble for a long, for a long time. You know, you get the, the good deals, but I haven't been to Barnes and Nobles in like maybe over two years or something like that. It's been a long time since I've been there. But I remember somebody telling me in the comments to one of my videos that uh, that Barnes and Nobles are having a Criterion sale, and I know they have it. I think they have it like three times a year, and November, of course, is the last month in the year they have it. And, you know, Monday is the last day of November, so I said, let me just go in there and check it out and see. And then I remember halfway while I was in there, I said, wait a minute. I, looked, I said, I don't have it. my card in my wallet, and anyway, even if I did have it, it probably the membership expired, because <laughs> I think it's only good for a year, but it probably expired, so I went there anyway, looking around at the criterions, and then I asked the lady, I said, uh, my membership expired, uh, that 50% off deal for the criterion, she said, she said, it doesn't matter, that the card thing doesn't work anymore. More so, she said, you're, you know, anybody can use the 50% off of the price for a criterion. So I said, okay, good. So I said, let me get a couple of Criterion movies, and I did. Uh, first movie I got is The Prince of Ties. This is uh, a movie that 
based on the novel, and this is written and directed by Barbara Streisand and Nick Nolte. It stars in this as well. He won an Academy Award for his best actor in this, and I absolutely love this movie. About Tom Wingo, that's his character. He comes to the city when he finds out that his twin sister tried to commit suicide. So he comes to the city, you know, the helper, comes from down south, and that's when, you know, he meets Barbara Streisand's character, and then, he, you know, she's a psychologist, and he gets into his, her past, his sister's past, and, of course, gets into his past, and it's like a big break, but it's real emotional, and I absolutely love the ending of this movie. The ending of this movie is heartbreaking, and just, uh, it just really gets to me. Okay, I used to carry that uh, ending. I used to have it on my phone. Uh, I think on my old phone, I used to have it on my phone, and I used to just watch it, love watching it when I, you know, Right on the train and stuff. I lo absolutely love the ending, and I gotta get the ending again and put it on my phone because the ending just just really gets to me. Again, Prince Times the Criterion. And I just want to check out the special features, which they have tons of those on Criterions. And the last movie that I got, I was thinking about getting three, but I got two. So this movie is a when did it come out? Uh, 1945. Anyway, this is uh, called Lever to Heaven. It stars Gene Tierney and Cornell Wilde, and I think Vincent Price is in this as well. Yep, he is. And this is about, uh, uh, what's you call this character? Uh, Ellen, Ellen uh, played by Jean Turney. She's an extremely possessive woman, and she meets Cornel Wilde's character, and she marries him, and she's extremely possessive. <laughs> and let's put it at that. And she goes to extreme lengths to make sure that she's the only person in his life. And it's just a real intense movie. I remember seeing this on AMC years ago, and just absolutely enjoying it. And like I said, I love all the Hollywood movies anyway, and this one is really really intense and I'm dying to see these special features and stuff in this and see new interview with you know and then the trailer and stuff and yeah just again this I think was this direct yeah no it was produced by Dale Zonick yeah Dale Zonick good but again real intense story uh leave it to heaven I wonder if they attempted to remake this story this story is intense okay but anyway so anyway those are the two criterions I bought okay so it's always good to pick up criterions and I think I did a criterion video years ago about all the Criterion movies that I have. Okay, maybe I'll do an updated version of that. Uh, I just wish maybe I had known earlier, well, if I remembered, then maybe I could have got a couple, maybe a couple more. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, so these are the three movies that will go away in the contest. Okay, Minions, Gremlins, and Batman Death of the Family. Okay, so all you got to do is uh, be a subscriber to the channel. And let me know down below in the video what movie you want to play for. Okay, and I'll try to give you the code. Uh, again, the best way, I think, is to contact me via Instagram or Twitter. Or um, you could send me an email, but I think email sometimes get blocked by Optimum, a cable company, that cable vision. That's the internet service they use. Optimum sometimes it blocks. Uh, consider those emails spam. So I think the best way to contact me is via Twitter, excuse me, Instagram or Twitter. And those links are in the description box down below. And I will try to give you the code the same, very same day. So if I don't give it to you uh, Sunday night when this video uploads, uh, you know, Sunday morning, I'll give it to you when I come home from work on on Monday. Okay? So copacetic, copacetic. Okay? So, okay. So there we go. There we go. Again, let me know what you think of these movies and the criterions as well. And let me know what movie you want to play for. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long. Take care.